There is an av average of 27 avalanche deaths that have occurred over the last 10 winters in the U.S. Earlier this month, sadly, an Idaho Falls man became a part of that statistic. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Rachel Cox Rosen spoke with the man's family to see how the community is responding. That's <laughs> good. Is that his voice? Yeah. Yeah, that's my boy. When asked how he wanted people to remember his friend, Ryan Jensen said that above all, Adam Anderson was fun. Whether it was riding dirt bikes or four-wheelers or playing basketball, playing golf, no matter what it was, you had a good time with Adam. The day he passed, Adam was out doing just that, having a good time. Adam and some friends were snowmobiling in the backcountry in the Centennial Mountains January 10th when an avalanche off Mount Jefferson swept Adam under the snow. The next morning, search and rescue crews found Adam's body. Ryan says tons of Adam's friends and family came out to look for him. That was the type of response that, um, you know, not an, a, a very liked person would get, not just your run-of-the-mill person. Adam leaves behind his wife, Summer, and their three kids. We're trying to do everything we can just to get them through this hard time. If you come to this Chick-fil-A in Ammon Thursday from 5 to 8 in the evening, 15% of whatever you buy will go straight to the Anderson family. The fundraiser, I was just like, there's something else that we can do in this community because I've had a lot of people reach out to me on what else they can do, and our community has been so great. I wanting to help out Summer. Ryan said he hopes the community will continue to be that supportive. He said Summer was, quote, the love of Adam's life and that nobody is more deserving of help than her. Rachel Cox Rosen, KPVI News that works for you. And if you'd like more information on the fundraiser, you can go to the event Facebook page called Adam and Summer Anderson Chick-fil-A Night.